that guy I was playing as earlier. Damn it, this sucks. This one is empty as well. Everything I got out of the others, I put into the diving suit. There is enough oxygen for about five minutes. All right, we've got what we've got. Hope it's enough. Go to the elevator. I'm sending it down. Am I gonna have an underwater section coming? That's a scuba suit. Scuba dooba doo. Let's go. Be careful when getting out of the elevator. The water is real murky. Turn left immediately and look for me. I'll be in the boat. I use that as both as a light source and probably a weapon, but at the moment nothing. That's good. You were on the upper decks back then, and we're all down here. So we're just sitting here, minding our own business, and then, holy, the water just, wham, came pouring in. Also, someone said earlier, what if I help them escape only for them to have something bad happen later? I guess this answers the question. That guy just flopped around like a fish. Because Wake that means... Up. I'll lower the gates. If they seem to die later on, we seem to play as them again. Because it's definitely the guy All I played as before. Rivets, bolts, screws, everything. Rags. I mean, you know, the sides ripped along the seams like tissue paper. That was one hell of an impact. But we dealt with it, thank God. Got some padding, patched up the walls, made some struts, and then, you know the rest. First, it got hot. Then it got cold. Now it's weird. All the diving. So if I am to believe this guy correctly, the boat for some reason keeps the game hot and cold and hot and cold. So this is a memory, obviously, is when the boat was in more of a hot sense. Hey, what's happening out there? Watch out! There's a lot of junk at the bottom. Gotta be careful with these guys. The swimming guy is being a little bit difficult. Oh no, I see what he's trying to do. I need to stop him. Yo, come on! Watch out! It's barely holding together! Yeah, I know, it's murky as hell, I know. Come on, you're almost there! That's not what's causing the problems. These guys are breaking shit. There are shit. some rusty pipes there with some valves on them. I got some circulation going here so it doesn't freeze up. And listen, you watch your step. Don't touch those valves. The pipes won't hold. Hey, why am I telling you? You know that already. It's been like that for years. This reminds me of that scene from the Twilight Zone famous episode on the airplane where we know what's going on, it's a monster causing problems, but they just think it's natural occurrences. That's done it. The frigging pipes. That's it. Nah, if we don't drain them, they'll all be frozen solid by tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, enough with the talking. You're almost there. Get through the gate. Come on. My time limit's going low. And there's a monster that's causing trouble, and apparently I can't talk back. So, oh boy. I don't think it's this door. Also, making the fire work takes off some of my oxygen. Glory! So, yeah. Must make it out before my time limit is up. Oh, the underwater, I even just thought of the guy swimming a little bit on the head. Just very briefly, though. All this murkiness. Go to the side and then make a right. I'll head to the winch. We'll go from there. Go to the side and then make a right. Just gonna try and 
interact with that. There should be a piece of wood there. We used it and some padding to plug the hole. I'll lower the support strut and you cut the lines with your blowtorch. Warning! Turn so slow in this section. Alright, low torch cut. Cut the lines on both hooks on the sides. How am I supposed to cut these? Good. Okay, just a lot of effort, basically. I thought the guy was going to come and give us difficulties when we were trying to do this, to be honest. Alright, cut that. And... Okay, it's in place. I'm turning the engine on now. You watch the stopper. The first stage complete. First stage complete. Well, now there's no longer ice here, so that's good. You gotta try and help the peoples, apparently. Now it feels weird to be able to turn so quickly, because I was barely able to turn just a little bit ago. All this charge. And there we go. I almost jumped down, but not quite. Of course, now we're in... Oh wait, this is freezing me to death really quickly. There's like a frozen layer of super coldness down there. I understand the difficulties now. There is a layer of coldness down there they can't live through a lot long. No time to stay here. Things will probably kill me if I'm not careful. I don't get out of it quick enough. And there we go. Interesting, though. Didn't expect that mechanic, to be honest. I like how every light source in this game seems to give you, like, health, except my flashlight. Apparently that's not good enough for heat. Right, there is, in fact, a switch over here, which I'm going to turn on. Ah, this is for an extra light source. Not that I'm complaining. This one also heals more than the flares, so yeah. And behind this door we have another room. Got He's not trying to show he's bossy. Ah oh, Jesus! The platform collapsed. Ha 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 ha. I can say that's not what I was expecting. Alright, so it starts me... Okay, I expect it to start me from here, to be honest. Just get a little bit of heat before we do this next section. And then, yeah. Gotta heat up so our lives won't be over. Perfect. Now let's run through this. Yeah, I did this a lot faster this time now that I knew exactly where to go. Now let's see, turn the light source on, up like this. Just to make sure I can brighten up my day a little bit. Flip the switch. Perfect. Let me feel some of that delicious heat. Yes. Caress the light. Okay, now we're good. And let's open up the door. Now, I'm not going to chase after this enemy. It seems like the platform is about to collapse on him because it collapsed on me last time. Yeah, the platform did collapse. I might want to fight. That show I'm an old 10-4. Dare nigh the door locked behind us. Right side, so there's a pipe. You know, you gotta travel on pipes, why not? 
I'd be very, very scared to walk on a pipe like this in a frozen, freezing environment like this. I'd be thinking I'd be slip or something. There was something I really want to press. Oh, this photo. And so he led them. Danko. And they followed him willingly, for they believed in him. It was a difficult trek. It was dark, and at every step, the yawning bog swallowed people up, and the trees were like a mighty wall, barring the way. Their branches were closely interwoven. Their roots were like snakes, reaching out in every direction, and every step these people took cost them blood and sweat. For a long time they went on, and the further they went, the thicker grew the forest, and the weaker grew their limbs. And then they began to murmur against Dunko, saying that he was young and inexperienced, and had no right to bring them here. But he kept walking at their head, his spirit undaunted, his mind unclouded. That hero, the good looking man they were talking about last time, saying that he's courageous and all that, and that he was a the leader there. He went through tough times and was undaunted. Got it. Are you the same guy? I think this is the same guy we've met twice. He's wearing the scuba suit. This guy needs to stop saying off his own death flags. Guess we gotta go help him again. Third time's the charm. All right, it's holding tight. Now, we just gotta turn on the pumps. They're straight ahead in the next section. You think that this Last time it wouldn't pump no matter what we did. There's gotta be a blockage somewhere. There's a broken pipe up here where some debris probably fell down. If something is blocking it down there, cut it with your blowtorch. I'm working on it, sir. Yeah, hell yeah. We got pressure, finally. Am I getting dragged somewhere? Falling, I can't go. Oh, no, dude, that's not very nice. What, the, what are you doing? Okay. It was turned over like one of those monsters, so it's probably something's gonna happen. Are you not dead? Also, I just I just took me a second for some reason. I don't know why I didn't notice, but I have the fire axe. <laughs> right, uh, anyways, though. Well, he's out of his suit. That's the bright side. Now there's a dead body here, implying that it was killed. And we got a fire axe. That's like an upgrade or something, right? It's a little bit slower, but I bet it's more powerful. Probably not gonna be able to make it onto those pipes, but I'm gonna try. I knew it was gonna not work. But I wanted to try. For if we don't try, who's going to? Uh, earnestly speaking. Alright. I'm not gonna follow that path right now. Let's just follow the path of the non dead body. The way the screen sways when you do that's kind of not not nausea aim will be a little bit confusing, so we'll see what we can do. Alright, do I Yep. I'm good at spawning climbable pipes. Maybe this is where I was before. I think this might be backwards. Maybe I'm supposed to go backwards? I probably not, it's probably locked. Yep, I went backwards. 
Well, let's not make the same mistake again. Here and try and find the way forward. It probably was the way which I was thinking to go. Which would be this way. Alright, so which pipes can I climb here, you? Yes, but this isn't a series of pipes. It's gonna fall or fail. Maybe I am supposed to jump on that. I just need to do it correctly. That! Oh, it was about to fall, I think. So I just need to walk on the other side and weigh my weight on the other side instead of trying to jump for it. So yeah. I... Stand. Yep. My weight shifts the platform. I bet I can make the jump now. Yep. There's a platform there for us. So... <laughs> I want to make sure not to fall into the cold, icy abyss. Alright, now do I get close enough to get myself in on some of that warmth? Here we go. If you need warmth, just make sure to gather around the ember flares. And good. That did surprise me, though, really showing up. Honestly, a little bit harder than fist punching because there's not different directions you can go. You just swing your axe the same way you swing anything. I can switch between all my different weapons. I just realized right now I can switch between all three weapons I've collected so far. Now I feel silly. Well, let's do our part. I'm gonna keep this out for a little bit because the axe is fun, it's powerful, it's just kind of slow, and you can only do one sort of attack with it. All these lights. Now I have to go back into the cold, so let's see if we can do this quickly. Worried about the present land, then we just gotta try. Here's the way out. I was in spot, to be honest. Remember, kids, cold clouds are cold. Somewhere the lights have turned on. Fortunately, the cold is still there. I guess there's some. I should probably heal here then. Alright, let's get into freezing, below freezing temperatures. Sounds fun, right? Enemies have increased their health a little bit. Where the fuck am I? Well, I went through the gate, but then the gate lowered because I saw some weird flashback. It's an actual fire. It's been a long time since I've seen an actual fire. An actual fire heals, yeah, heals almost all your health all the way. That's desirable. We'll have an axe fight. Let's have an axe fight. I didn't ask you for that. Alright, let's get a little more healing over here. Delectable, delicious fires. Now, kids, do you guys see those shadow figures? Why do I see shadow people? This is new. Shadow people, why, why, why are we all hanging around here? Well, ignoring all the shadow people collected here for some bizarre reason. That's the first time I've ever seen fog people. Let's uh, click this. Let's turn the light, right? Yeah. Guess you could say that was a ghost rave. And next latch. So now, I mean ghosts, I guess. Either fog people or ghosts, those were new. All right, the 
death still of Russia. I'm happy this flashlight has a limited battery. Imagine if this game didn't have a limited battery. That's not how you open the door. This will be my default weapon for the moment. The axe is powerful, but slow. But it's not effective for all fights. But it's effective for some. The enemy's also slow. That was rather weird flash. I'll take it. Another guy to save. Well, do my part. Attention! All personnel to the lower decks! Down! Down! Move it! Oh, the water is rising. Moment then. Door open. Open. Let's get up here. You be okay up there? I have no idea. Why well, saved him? Because the war is gone. That was easy. Starts with this open. Yes, it will. I don't trust my character enough to fall down there, so yeah. Pat's open though, so that's cool. Uh, remember, punching will not solve all my problems. Only 80% of them. Photograph, photograph. But one day, a storm broke over the forest, and the trees whispered together menacingly, and instantly, it became as dark as if here were gathered all the nights that had passed since the forest was born. And the little people walked on under the big trees amid the roar of the storm, and as they walked, the giant trees creaked and sang a sinister song, and the lightning flashed above the treetops, throwing a cold blue light over the forest for a brief instant, disappearing as quickly as it had appeared, and striking terror into the hearts of the people. So they know what the fuck lightning was, got it. <laughs> they maybe should be happy about that. I hear Final Fantasy XIII wasn't all that well received. I mean, like, now then, uh, if we roll down through here, is this gonna be an actual open door? Negatory. <clears throat> Nothing through here. This is just a little frozen crevice. It's probably up the stairs I need to go. Let's roll on up. You say the upstairs case that was previously blocked is the right way to go? Well, I guess you'd be right. Let me risk a little bit of stamina in case an enemy attacks me. Peekaboo. Where are you? That's me knocking over cans. You know, I just enjoy doing it. Give myself a little bit of the what's behind me feeling. So every day I trust a fan just blowing out frozen wind at me, but here we go. Okay, does that become a heater? That's a heater. From fan to heater. What a lifesaver. Look at those rag physics. Insane up here, so maybe I'm actually gonna go down here. I got this bad feeling. Want to have another axe battle? I seem to be in the axe battles. 
Max guy is stupid when you fight out with Max. Will you be good with this? And dead. I'm getting better at this combat thing. I bet now downstairs is gonna be unfrozen or something, so let's see. There is a switch. And an enemy. I love doing the uppercuts on these guys. Ah, oh, jeez, he's actually kicking my ass. I did just perfectly against the other enemies, and that guy comes and gives me a big problem. Let there be light, as they say, I suppose. Eat. Ah, this door's unfrozen. Oh wait, no, this is the door that was unfrozen in the game. That's where I started from. Gotta go deeper. Yep. Definitely gotta go deeper. It's down here. There's a red light down here, which applies to something important. Come over here. I'm on the staircase. If you want a little bit of my power, I don't mind you. Come on, test my power levels, you spinning old man. Yes, glitch out my crazy. Glitch it! Glitch it! <laughs> that was epic. Oh, I got up there. Ah, right, there we go. Let's go. I was gonna say, am I ever gonna jump past there? But there I go. I don't actually need to jump past it. What's this red light which I see, which I want to use to cover some of my health? It's you light. I, I can't warm up against you, though. Uh, yeah, we're lower, so that's good. I, that light isn't a warm up light. Oh, did <laughs> The door pushed me. I wore my hand. Against the fan, warming, warming those hands. They'll be back in a moment, sweetie. And it's a catastrophe that nothing could be. I don't mean to go crazy and axe you things, but. Holy hell, you're breaking that door! Stop hitting that poor innocent door! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You really want a piece of this after you just see what that guy just did? Are you sure you're on the right side, man? Mm -hmm. Let's work around like a magician. If I went down here... Lights on. So the axe isn't very good at defending, but it's good at damage. I can't say that. Gotta feel the sunshine all night. <laughs> so it's not that door. We now know it's down here. Where our favorite enemy is gonna come. Hey, Jimmy, how goes it? Really want to attempt that. Well, he tried and he failed. Now let's not let Mr. Door push us off again. That seemed like quite the fight, buddy. 
the game has taught me mostly not to drop down when I think I can just drop down, but in this case, I think I can maybe just drop down just fine. I have those no way out of here, so I better help you or else I'm gonna be stuck here, aren't I? I have a gun! No light. Oh, I see you. Cinematic open. You really don't flinch, do you? Now you flinched. Did my part. The gun is mine. That's pick up. Ah, oh, there's now ammo to worry about. Well, gunplay has now been introduced. Hold our mouse to aim and to fire and use R to reload. Ah, uh, I guess I can join other games to do that, but now I know. I'm gonna have to. I wonder where I'm supposed to shoot. Got reload after every bullet. See how it works. Now I only have four spare bullets. I like the little weapon pouch thing, it's kind of unique. Let's see. I guess it's the pipe I'm going for. The enemy did sort of break out of it. It's making sort of an echoing sound. Uh, I'm gonna wait for an enemy that I think needs bullets before I start bulleting them. I'm doing combat just fine with my fist. This does not look suspicious in the slightest. Let's heat it up. Jeez, that is going really loud for some reason right now. Maybe it's because it's echoing because I'm in the pipe. Kind of creepy, just moderately though. Some ways to the left. Hand. There we go. That show him a 10 4. Let's get a little bit closer. Come on, it's a little bit closer. He actually killed me. An enemy managed to kill me. God dang it. Now, um... We've only encountered two sorts of enemies so far. Crouch to pick up ammo. I know I picked up ammo last time, but now I don't see where it is. So it might have been there, maybe it was pushed aside by that, or maybe pushed under the map because that fucking pipe came out, I'm not quite sure. Yep, now it's there. I didn't see it before. It's not a bad reloading animation, honestly. I'll shoot that. Fuck. You know what, you know what, you know what? Load one more time. It just appears elsewhere, but yeah. Shoot from the other side. I think that's how it works. Yeah, punch side works. Now we know. Up and at him. Time for my favorite place, ventilation pipes. Wherever I bypass it. Give us a little bit of warm, and then we should be good. Ah, uh, that's why I died. I have very little health to work with in this section. Just gotta be a little bit smart about this then. Got a lot closer to the crazy. Yeah. 
see if he wants a 10-4 punch and I'll give him a 10-4 punch. Just to save myself a little bit of time and energy in case I die again, I'm actually just gonna warm up myself on this vent again. Ventilation shooting. That goes really loud inside here though. Let's keep on going. I wouldn't want to live in the pipe. Let's see. That is the pipe I saw earlier. This will be an enemy, of course, I saw. Well, that was one way to definitely tackle my enemies. These vents are not worth much health at all. Let's punch this a lot. That's the red light I saw earlier. I hear a sound, I don't think it's me, but... Around the corner after break this. My flashlight's barely doing anything here. I mean, it's helping a little bit, don't get me wrong. I'm not, not appreciative, but 